Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a new Luke video. And don't worry, I'm getting fed up with these things too. I quite frankly don't want to talk about this anymore, but you know what? Because I'm the realest guy in the room, honest, and you know, all that good stuff that Luke wishes he can be. Just kidding, He's he doesn't wish he could be as honest as me because he pretty much just submit himself into a corner. That much is obvious, that is the type of person he is. So... So, I'm gonna tell you, the Luke videos doing pretty good. <laughs> and why would I stop just going at somebody that's so dishonest, so disingenuous, and to be frank, pathetic? Just, just let me let me read off a comment, right? Before I make my stand, let me read off a comment that I saw earlier today that perfectly sums everything up. This is a fight between two teenagers where a reasonable adult would have stepped in and tried to fix that from a mature standpoint. Sadly, in this situation, the adult is Luke, and he'd rather throw gasoline on that fire because one of the two parties involved is someone who he has beef with. Pathetic, but it, it's so truthful. This is really what it is. Now, whoever thinks Luke does this, right, from the kindness of his heart, you are very naive. You are too naive for the internet 100% now Luke has made a total of three videos on the 16 year old that he has beef with together adds up to about over an hour on watch time on his platform three videos count those up over an hour what can we say this man the glue side effects clogging of the brain um pettiness you know Probably some low T in there as well, from what I can see. So that's a lot of attention to give to an under 10k YouTuber. So we can infer that whatever Harley had on Luke must have gotten Luke really scared. Scared enough to, to where he had to really work off the clock to bury and discredit this, this, this kid, right? It's insane levels that, that are quite frankly very laughable at this point. So, look, the big defense for Luke's latest video is that it wasn't Luke talking, guys. <laughs> Luke only talked for a minute on that video. <laughs> it absolves Luke, if anything. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes I wish I could debate any random person that throws these weird arguments, like these really low arguments. Like, I still want to debate Luke because I want him to, to look like an idiot, right? I do. I actually do. I know he won't accept it because he's scared and he'd rather go ahead, take things out of context, put them in his video low effort videos the most effort i can give luke is that he dishonestly and disingenuously crafts that narrative for everyone that's one of the downsides of you know video editing right and why i primarily like to do off the cuff shit or you know live debates or something arguments confrontations like that it's because i don't try to edit things out of context i don't do that i don't need to but luke always needs to do that he did it for jar and you know that was the perfect example right there again Again, who knows how many other people he's done it to. I bet it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. And I have no doubt that if Luke ever makes a video on me, he'd do it to me too. Because that's just the type of person he is. But I'm going to say this once again. Debate me, you freaking bitch. Stop hiding. Stop hiding behind kids. What the hell is wrong with you? Stop picking on kids and stop hiding behind kids. For the love of God. Also, didn't you get on, on Antoon's or Anton's case? Whatever that, that guy's name is. Didn't you get on his case for doing the same exact thing you're doing right now? I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Kind of hypocritical, Luke. But that should be nothing new to you then again. Anyway. Anyway. <sighs> Luke's been clowned on so much. Right? He really can't risk a third blunder. So, as I stated, he's hiding behind a kid now. So, rather than give his his hot take on the whole situation, because Luke's been pretty much the laughing stock of the commentary community at this point, right? Literally everybody craps on him. Like, <laughs> the, the commentary mafia, uh, you know, you know, which I guess I'm a part of now, but like we all look down on him now because that that's just what it is. Like the Oreo was right. This guy eats glue, and glue clogs the brain. So it's no wonder he ended up like this. But the point is, Luke is is like, he can't take another blow. <laughs> like the other two videos, laughably bad. His points, like I can make a two-minute video and dismantle everything again. 
too fucking easy. Too easy. But uh, that's why in this third video, he needed to essentially, you know, uh, full offense, take two irrelevant nobodies that nobody's ever heard of and nobody probably ever will hear of unless they cry victim again, and he needed to use them. Now, this is the role he's made the individual called Cameron play. But let me state again, Cameron is not a fucking victim. I've already explained why. Go to my other loop videos and that should clear it up. <sighs> this is supposed to be him burying Harley. Let's call it what it is, okay? Let's spare the sob story. Points have already been straightforwardly made for this dynamic between Cameron and Harley to where the context really isn't needed. What more context do you need? See, bottom line, Cameron's a wimp that lives in the you need to treat me like a princess mindset and Harley is from time to time a harsh, opportunistic individual that wants to be a somebody. Gee, I wonder which one of these people you would be inclined to respect more. It's not that difficult to make a choice, really. If you have the winner's mindset, you'll side with Harley easy. If you have the SJW mindset, you'll side with Cameron easy as that. As for Griever, I have no idea why she's even in here, nor do I really care since the last time I saw her, she was kissing Harley's ass, so... Backstabbing the 16 year old is becoming a cool trend, I guess. Huh. Huh. Okay, there. If there's anything in this pathetic attempt of a soft fest that I missed, please inform me. Last night I had Cameron, and for whatever reason, DM me because I allegedly said I wanted to talk to him. I don't remember ever saying that, but whatever the case. Uh, to paraphrase our talk, which mainly consisted of like two DMs, or one DM in my case. Uh, he's gonna drop this, apparently. Uh, hopefully he actually sticks to his word on this and doesn't make like a fourth or go to Luke and say, Luke, give me a platform to, to, to be like, uh, exalt of all these slanderous lies. <laughs> Fuck sakes, man. Do you know how many slanderous lies come to everybody? Like, literally. What the hell? Like, it's, are you, why are you absolved from this? You're a public figure. Go back to being irrelevant. I mean, you practically already are there. If you want to take this as an attack, again, by all means, take it. Because I have no sympathy for you. You're literally hiding behind the victim mindset. Like, if you're going to Luke and you're trying to get clout, I'll understand that, right? Because somehow Luke is relevant. You know, you're just being an opportunist. You've got the winner's mindset. You want to make it somewhere. But if you're a little wimp that's just going to him so that you can give him ammo to use for his petty vendetta, I have no respect for you. I don't care about you. And quite frankly, if you feel insulted by me, that's great. I'm not the one making multiple videos on you, kid. I'm bringing you up because you want to make yourself part of the situation, right? See, let me give you another little example, right? The more you take part, the more you take center stage in this shit, right? The more people are going to look into you, right? That's the thing. <laughs> what do you think happened to Sleuth? <laughs> Buddy. Shh. It's over. You got your slander out there, right? Which you wanna you wanna hide behind saying, "Oh no, I'm just clearing my name." No, you, you that's not it, bro. <sighs> well, either way, this is my take on the whole situation. Luke, you're a disingenuous piece of crap that takes things out of context and will never have the balls to challenge someone in an actual debate because you will be exposed for the fucking liar that you really are.